Now, 10 things you need to do to be a food revolutionary. These things will need courage and determination, but you will be amongst the first people to instigate change. This change will take time and will not be easy, but imagine the satisfaction to be had from helping to save the NHS. It is your personal duty to take the steps that will change your health, but also leave a healthier world for the future. First, our national dish, fish and chips. Never buy from a shop who cooks in any kind of oil. Beef dripping is what to look for. There are still, still a few shops in the north that cook in this way, and it would not be long to change this if we boycott the oil cooking shops. Change could happen quite quickly. We do not need fish and chips every day, and when we do have them, let's make sure they are as healthy as possible. Second, never buy oven chips. These are often cooked in sunflower oil. Then you take them home and heat them again. It's like eating plastic covered potatoes. Make your own chips, big ones. Cook them in lard. You do not need much, but you are keeping your heart healthy. Third, never under any circumstances buy margarine or any of the manufactured spreads. These are industrially produced and unrecognized in the body. Once again, decisive action could rid the shelves of these products in quite a short time. Fourth, never buy corn oil or soy oil. These are solvent extracted and you did not have this process in your Stone Age world. Oils just marked vegetable probably ought to be avoided as well. Fifth, always use butter. Keep it in a butter dish in the kitchen, not in the fridge. It will spread okay most of the year. The butter you're not using is okay in the fridge. Sixth, when buying biscuits, always look for made with butter. Most shortbread will be like this, but some have started to say only 3% percent saturated fat. Avoid these and almost all other more popular ones that probably will be made with unhealthy oils at high temperature. Seventh, almost all crisps are deep fried in oil, so are really bad for you. Let's stop buying them till they are fried in dripping or lard and most salted nuts fit into this category as well. Eighth, this is slightly different. You can go onto the National Health Choices page on fats and you will find a complete lack of knowledge on the subject with positively dangerous advice given. They do get one point from me, however, because you can see comments from people who have much more understanding of the world of fats. And the change for life site, I'm afraid, on the fat issue is just as bad. So both of those sites need lobbying for change. Ninth, buy full fat milk. Skimming removes valuable nutrients. Buy plain logot and put your own honey and fruit for the flavour you like. And that will be all it contains. You do not need a lot of extra unhealthy sugar or preservatives. Tenth, take action. Pass this message on to all you can and talk about these issues openly. Do not listen to people who say saturated fat is bad and oil is good. This is rubbish. Maybe you long, belong to a group or know a group who would like to debate this issue more widely. Please get in touch. I would be happy to come along and talk through how to understand more about healthy food. This is a message from Derwin Banks, a heart-centered farmer who produces linseed oil from the linseed farm. Thank you.